Okay, uh, hello. Welcome to uh, a tutorial, uh, uh, an instructional video about how to um, import, batch specify, and export uh, PNG uh, sequences, and, and in general, image sequences into Clip Studio. As we can see here, I've got the American flag all rendered out, individual clips, um, which are individual images, sorry, an image sequence of TIFF files, which I've imported and uh, specified to each frame of this animation. Um, and then I was able to render this out as a PNG sequence, but it's not immediately obvious how this works. And I'll show you why we're going to, we're going to make a new animation here, control M for new. And in the animation, we're going to set our frame rate to 24. That's a mistake I made last time. And we'll just call this this, and you'll see why in a second. We're going to call it Bear America. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Import, Image. And then I've got my flag renders here. And here is uh, a flag of Bear America. Um, this will make sense at some point, I swear. But we're going to import these frames. It might take a second here. Um, but you can see down at the bottom right, all the frames slowly filing into the animation folder. Um, I think there's about a hundred to 200. I'm not entirely sure. So it might take a little bit, hopefully not so long that I have to pause. Um, but I can pause if need be. seems like it's going pretty quick here. So we're good. Just going to make sure we're recording. Yep. Everything looks fine to me. So, once this is imported, you'll see nothing has changed. And if we scrub the timeline, there's no frames. Where have the frames gone? Well, the frames are in our layers in the animation folder, but they're not specified. Now, you could manually go, and for some small files, you'll do this. You go in, okay, I want the first frame to be here. And then I want the second frame here. And then you keep going like, you know, frame three. We have um, a couple, like 140 frames here. So it's not really feasible for us to do that. And, and some projects you might have way more. So what we're going to do is use a trick that is a part of Clip Studio. We're going to go into animation. We're going to go into edit track and then batch specify cells. And it's going to bring up this little menu here. And this menu is extremely powerful. It lets us basically get all of these frames on the timeline the way we want. So um, by default, it's hit the specific value. But what we're going to do is specify name of existing animation cell. So what it's going to do is it's going to choose the starting cell and the ending cell and number of frames each cell takes up. And you can also choose how many times it repeats. So we're going to ignore cell one. That's just a blank white frame. We don't need it. We're going to start with bare America flag one, and it should automatically have the last frame selected. It's all based on the order that they are in your uh, animation folder. So it's important that they're in the right order here, but if you've named them properly, then they should be in the right order. So now we're just going to hit OK, and it might take a bit. Actually, no, it's immediately worked. And what it's done is it has specified every single frame to our very weird alternate reality flag of America if America was governed by bears. Um, yeah, it, it's a weird project, but it's a good opportunity to, to, to show this. Um, OK, and so once we're done with that, the whole purpose of me doing this today was for um, exporting an image sequence. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to export the animation as an image sequence. We're going to call it Bear America. And I'm going to give it its separator. Um, type PNG because this is a conversion for me from TIFF to PNG. So this can be put into Flash. It's a pain. Um, it's a workaround. There's probably better software to do it. But, you know, it's a good opportunity to kind of give a rough idea of the of the um, way to use the timeline and to import assets into the timeline. 
um if you ever need if you ever need more detail about how to actually use the clip studio animation timeline uh just let me know we're going to render this out into c tmp which is empty so that's good and with that in mind we're just going to make sure the frame rate is the same it's 24. So this usually defaults to 12 so just make sure it's the same as the timeline um if you mess up just quickly be before i do this if you mess up the the timeline if you forget to set it you can go to animation timeline change frame rate and change it here but yeah we are going to export this image sequence now it didn't save great so i'm just going to quickly type this in and then we should be ready to go right everything set okay and that'll start to render it's going to take forever but it'll do exactly what we want so that's basically it for for this short video i hope it was helpful let me know if you have any questions regarding it um yeah and let me know if you want me to do more of these because i totally can do more uh i know a fair bit about the software so yeah that's all take care